This morning, people in one Florida neighborhood are fighting a mosquito infestation that hasn't even come yet. A British company wants to release millions of genetically modified mosquitoes there. They say that this action will actually stop the spread of at least two deadly diseases. Anna Warner joins us with the concerns of some very skeptical residents. Anna, what's happening there? Good morning. Well, good morning, Gail. These mutant bugs would target a specific species of mosquito that is so troublesome, the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District spends more than a million dollars a year, 10% of its budget, trying to fight it. The Florida Keys have long been a vacation destination, but for decades, officials have been trying to keep one visitor out, the non-native Aedes aegypti mosquito. The tiny striped insect is resistant to most pesticides and has the potential to spread debilitating and incurable diseases like dengue fever and chikungunya. This is the most difficult mosquito to control on Earth because it stays close to people. It's like an urban guerrilla warfare mosquito. But a biotech company says this could be the latest weapon, a genetically modified version of the bug. This is where we produce the eggs that we ship out to Florida for doing the trial. It's the brainchild of British-based Oxitech. The male super mosquito is injected with a special gene designed to take out its own species by preventing the offspring from maturing. Most of those females will mate with our males and most of their offspring will die. Over a long enough period of time, then you get reduction in the population. The company has built a breeding lab in the Marathon, Florida office of the Keys Mosquito Control District. Pending FDA approval, the team would unleash millions of male mosquitoes, which don't bite, into Key Haven, a neighborhood of more than 400 houses. Just open it up and shake and the males uh, are released, and then they go and do their job. But the plan has been met with heated opposition. We are humans, and we don't like being treated like guinea pigs. Playing out at town hall meetings. We need a longer time to find out what the long-term effect of your product will have. Nearly 150,000 people have signed an online petition calling for a stop to the field trial. And just last week, the Food and Water Watch advocacy group sent a letter to the FDA urging them to block the operation. I would say our biggest fear is that they haven't been thoroughly studied for public health risks, environmental risks. And this is an open air release. You're not going to get them back. Oxitec insists the tool is safe and effective. The company claims that after a release in Brazil and the Cayman Islands, the population of the mosquitoes in some areas dropped by more than 90 percent. It's those results Florida Keys officials are hoping to achieve. While the area hasn't reported a dengue fever outbreak in four years, officials say the key to fighting an epidemic is preventing one. It's like a house fire. All you can do is try to save as much of the house you can. That mosquito epidemics are the same way. If you wait until they start, there's going to be damage. Now, Oxitec admits that some females could slip through in the release process and potentially bite people, but says that wouldn't be any different from getting bitten by a wild mosquito. As for the FDA, they haven't said when they're going to complete a review. They don't actually confirm, you know, what they're doing in the background. But so Food and Water Watch is saying, look, you know, even if this works, does it work long term? And more, once you release them, they're out, and maybe you can't predict exactly what happens in the future. I think they're worried about what happens in the environment. It's, I'm all for less mosquitoes because they like to bite me. Well, it's a concern. It's a big health concern. <laughs> Dengue fever is not to be taken lightly. No, Thank indeed. You. Thank you, Anna.